In the cradle of civilization, beneath the unforgiving desert sun, lies a tale not etched in hieroglyphs, but whispered in the shifting sands. It speaks of a king known only as Scorpion, a name that stings with forgotten ambition and fuels whispers of heresy. History remembers him as a unifier, a conqueror who dreamt of stitching the warring kingdoms of ancient Egypt into a single tapestry. But what if the truth were a venomous barb disguised as noble intent? Archaeologists boast of their Scorpion King relics, a chipped mace, a looted tomb, a weathered tablet bearing his name. To them, these fragments whisper of progress, of the dawn of writing, of a ruler who yearned to bind his fractured land. But beneath the dusty surface of accepted narratives, another story slithers, its scales glinting with forbidden knowledge and a hunger for power beyond comprehension. Imagine, if you dare, a Scorpion King not driven by unification, but by a darker ambition. Not a warrior king forging a single Egypt, but a sorcerer king seeking to enslave it under the shadow of forgotten gods. What if the hieroglyphs carved on his tomb weren't the birthing pangs of language, but incantations for summoning ancient horrors? What if the chipped mace wasn't a symbol of leadership, but a conduit for channeling arcane energies? The evidence, though fragmented, whispers possibilities darker than sun-baked clay. The unearthed mace pulsates with an unsettling warmth, defying logic and reason. The looted tomb, stripped bare by greedy hands, still reeks of a chilling emptiness, a void where something potent once resided. And the tablet, bearing the Scorpion King's name, hums with an unseen power, its glyphs writhing like snakes under the gaze of scholars. Could these be mere relics, weathered by time and misinterpreted by mortal minds? Or are they harbingers of a truth too terrible to contemplate? Did the Scorpion King seek knowledge forbidden, power beyond even the pharaohs, and pay the ultimate price for his hubris? Was his tomb not a resting place, but a ward against the entities he sought to control? The answers, like serpents in the sand, remain buried deep. Every unearthed shard, every hieroglyph deciphered, adds another twist to the tale. Was the Scorpion King a visionary leader or a power-mad heretic? Did he write the first chapter of Egyptian history or unleash a darkness that still writhes beneath the sands? One thing is certain, the shadows cast by the Scorpion King stretch much further than the dusty shelves of museums. His legacy slithers through the whispers of nomads, the nightmares of archaeologists, and the forbidden texts locked away in ancient libraries. And somewhere beneath the unforgiving sun, the sand remembers. It remembers the whispers of forgotten gods, the sting of the Scorpion King's ambition, and the chilling question that echoes across millennia. What horrors did he unleash upon the world, and are they still waiting to rise? The choice, dear reader, is yours. Will you remain content with the sanitized story of a forgotten king, or dare to delve into the darkness and unveil the venomous truth that writhes beneath the sands of time?